Hi there, it's Jason here from Forex Pip Snagger and Forex U Turn. Today is January 4th, 2012, and we'll look at some setups. Okay, so uh, basically, here is 10 o'clock GMT, and uh, basically, we needed to break through this support right here before we look for a trade. As you can see, bounced here, here here and here okay um, so anyway uh, the ideal entry of course was here but we had to break through support so once we broke through support here this was the this is the indication right here at 1245 bar bar that listen up ladies and gentlemen we might be going down all the way down <laughs> anyway so Anyway, as you can see in the filter, at this point in time, it turned red. So, right here, bing, bang, boo, you would have sold it, okay? Down she went. Sell it again. Down she went. Sell it again. Went up to the trend line, and then down she went. Sell it again. Sell it again. Sell it again. Okay? As you know, you can only do that so many times before it stops working and goes the other way. It might end up back up at 29... 80 today, you know, it's just the way that the euro works. It'll run one way and then it'll drift back the other way again. That's uh, the big tug of war. Okay, so anyway, uh, there's a whole bunch of nice sell trades all the way down. For those of you who would have sold it here and held it, you had about a 37 pip stop, or if you went to the top, 56 pip stop. To the bottom, gave you 100 pips. So you definitely would have got your. 1 to 1 or 2 to 1 win loss ratio. Okay, let's take a look at the 1 minute now and hopefully we got some trades today. There we go. Oh. Now, see we had it we had it bouncing right off resistance here. There was no trade here. That sucks. And there's no trade here. It's blue in the filter. And there's no trades again. Damn. That sucks. Okay, let's look at the pound. Pound is not so nice, smooth going as the euro. Okay, so anyway, it gave you, it broke support right here as well. Gave you a sell right here. They made a double bottom, took it back up. So they went up and basically almost got your stop, and then they took it down again. So you would have looked to sell here and here and here. You know, this is why I tell people, you know, I trade the euro only. I, I very, very rarely trade the pound, and it's because of this, you know, I, I don't know its behavior. The euro is, is, is a more, you know, behavioral, behaving pair, for me anyway. Like, look at the difference between this chart and this chart. You see the big difference? You, you can see it, you know. They didn't want to take the pound down today. Look at how eager they are to take it back up again. You know, when the euro was falling, they were going up. So, anyway, they want to buy some pounds for whatever reason. Probably probably because, oh, look at it, shoot up now. Probably because the euro, you know, if there's big talk that if the euro collapses and there's no more euro, they're, they're talking a $3, $4 pound. So, if we go to 4 bucks, man, oh, it's not going to be a pretty sight for the people in the UK because... Nobody is going to want to go there and visit because it'll be too damn expensive at, you know, to buy to buy their British pounds to go there and on vacation. So anyway, this is the word, the rumor that I heard that if the euro they get rid of the euro, the pound is going to explode. So get ready, if the euro goes. Get ready to trade the pound, ladies and gentlemen. Buy them dips. Okay, let's look at the Swissy now. Oh, the Swissy, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Broke it here. Long right here. Boom. Stop was 20 pips, 25 pips. Drawdown was 8 pips. 100 pips to the top. For those of you who missed that entry, you could have bought it here, 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 all the way every time back into the trigger line. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Okay, let's take a quick look now at the Forex U turn. Oh, look at that. It was a perfect M up there. Right? Got you short early in the exit session. 
And they did a little flip-flop here, and there was a W to buy. But look what happened. They sold it. Double top. Boom. Down it goes. So that was kind of a... This wasn't... This was not an M here either to sell. It was here, but not here. What a bad one that one was. And the pet Excuse me. And then the pound gave you the basically the M to sell. Went sideways. Didn't do much of anything. It was kind of a sucky wucky situation. Not not good uh, trading today for Forex U turn. Sorry about that. But what can you do? But anyway, that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.